Um, okay, um, let's talk some matches of East versus West 12. Uh, 14 total matches, a lot of surprises. Probably the one of the biggest surprises of the night was Leonidas O'Connor beating Schoolboy. Mm. Um, uh, round one looked absolutely dominant from Schoolboy, just got in, showed aggression. And mm. then he said his hand exploded, he had nothing left in It was hand. not dominant in, uh, from my perspective. When, when I saw in the first round how Alexander pulled against uh, Leonidas, it was, he won, but it he was, won. It yeah. was zero control. He yeah, was, yeah, he, he was, just, was out he was of just, angle, yeah. he was open position, his wrist was compromised, he, he really, really didn't like gave off wrist, but it was already here. So uh, what he was talking about that uh, he will be more controlled, arm wrestler with wrist control, and that's his biggest strength, and then he have more experience, and I have to say that uh, he was, he, he rushed? He rushed. He, he was, uh, I, I think, uh, he was unexpected uh, so much power from Leonidas, yeah. and, and he was really surprised himself because he believed that he will just have this control, and he didn't have. And very possible, sometimes when you go for such a win in the first round, you sacrifice something else. You give too much. Too yeah. much, and exactly. He, he had no wrist, on like, because there was a surprise that he went straight for the flop wrist press in round two, right? Mm -hmm. It, um, it was. It was. It was uh, not like he decided I will go for that. No, he probably, gave it up. probably yeah. he yeah. didn't have any any other option. Yeah. And I, I, how it, that fight went, I was surprised because I also I talked with uh, Schoolboy's brother in the fight, and he asked me about uh, prediction and what I think, and and I really thought that uh, Alexander or Schoolboy that he will be. Uh, much more in control that fight, that he, he will be the one who will dominate and, and maybe Arconas will somehow struggle in some positions to find... It was the opposite. Exactly. It was the opposite. Leonidas and looked very good, very sharp hand control, back pressure, everything was on point. Yeah. Um, that, that schoolboy had to go for a flop wrist press and when he hit it, he could get it, but it went down to like 3-2 at the end, right? 3-2? 3-2 for Leonidas. Yeah. Yeah, and... and uh, even when we watch this, that fight, you can see that Leonidas is still learning. The strength potential is huge. He's yeah. still learning, and at some point, it's like, like I'm watching that he's or he's already having this control over the wrist, and he's still trying to make this like huge angle and focus to take that wrist. Yeah. When you don't need to focus anymore on the wrist, when you already have done this, yeah. you need to focus an arm. And yeah. at the last round, that was he changed. Yeah. He focused an arm. He add a little bit side. He get a yeah, little bit closer just and over. just went side. So so he is learning. All is there, but still, when he is fighting, even if he is winning. Yeah. Still, you can oh, see that young, there is a lot of things to improve. Uh, and that's, that's only show how much potential he, yeah, maybe in future we, we could see great from potential. him. Beat Larry Wheels, then beat Schoolboy, yeah. right? Both these guys faced each other multiple times, so yeah. there was history there. It's also showing, uh, if, it, if we're getting back to Larry Wheels, it also shows us how good actually Larry Wheels is. Yeah. Uh, and that fight, it didn't, didn't, but right now, Schoolboy, he's former WAF, US champion, yeah. he's national US champion, it's, it's high level. There are not so, uh, so many arm wrestlers in the heavyweight who, who become a world champion before in the US he, he level. He said his goal was to be top, uh, top 10 in two years. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is definitely a setback right here. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, he said he had no hand left after the first one. And like you said, he, he must have gone for, yeah. He was, yeah. he was, he was kind of hitting it right when you go too hard and yeah. Yeah. And, and, too much. And he said himself that he is in a good shape. He's very well prepared. Yeah. He felt good, always good, and, and he looked actually yeah. strong was, and huge. Big, and and, and big, I believe in seen. great general shape. Yeah. And it's even more impressive from uh, from Leonidas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Alijan and Hermes. Um, I I expected it like. I, I thought that Alijan would win, especially when it goes to the strap, because I thought it's just too much. Uh, outside the strap, Hermes had something going. You know, Hermes can have his great hand control, but the difference between them two is just crazy, right? Yeah. Um, we were talking before, and I, I, I said my prediction before that uh, Alijan, in my eyes, is favorite. And uh, you said that Hermes is preparing very seriously, he and he's very focusing seriously. for left yeah. arm. So he said, okay, maybe something interesting would happen. Yeah. But, uh, Alijan show, showed us one more time why, why 
myself and many others are saying that this is a man who could be like one of very, very top left hand yeah. armorsmen in the world right now, and that he's somewhere up in this top three, top five, we don't know, or maybe number one, we don't know that. But yeah. when he stops you and gets in his position, that's absolute dominance. And uh, I don't know uh, when I have seen, even with left arm, that someone is, uh, I would use a word, playing with Hermes uh, like that. And uh, Hermes was very, mm, not angry or disappointed, but he showed his emotions after after fight a lot. That uh, yeah, he, he like it, it's it sucks to lose and be yeah. prepared. And he thought it's better. And uh, he said like Alijan, is the strength level is crazy there. But he said the hand control in 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 the strap and side pressure and everything is just mm -hmm. uh, incredible. Uh, even Hermes said he thinks he's top three. Right? I also mm -hmm. think he's somewhere there. Yeah. Um, there's few good matches, like not few, but there's a lot of good matches and that Alijan wants and he doesn't care, but I, I think he could be one of the guys who takes the, the uh, thing is, three titles. The thing is, Hermes' uh, left arm is not his right arm, but still, probably with his left arm, is he is uh, still elite arm wrestler and there are not so many arm wrestlers who, who, who will beat Hermes even with left arm. There are not so many. Uh, they could be like... Uh, no. No. I, I, I would say there could be like maybe over 10 people, maybe, maybe 15 very, people. Very special. Just, very special. Yeah. Very special. I, I believe... It's not like Hermes is weak, just yeah. Alijan is that strength. I, I believe Alijan is the best pound for pound armor on left arm. I, that's how I see it. Because yeah. uh, even now, the weight disparity between, between him and Hermes was mm -hmm. like 25, 35, kilo, 30 kilos. Mm -hmm. Hermes, Hermes had, had a left hand fight with Morozo. Morozo, yeah. And uh, it definitely was closer. Yeah, it was fight for hand and wrist. Hermes has uh, pulled with Wagner Bartlotto mm -hmm. left arm. Good fight, yeah. good control, everything. Wagner is uh, considered as a somewhere around like top top ten top with left arm for hand wrist. Fifteen. Well, well, at some point, yeah. Now I think with all the injuries, yeah. but yeah, at that point Wagner so was very very high. Yeah. How Alijan won against uh, Prudnik? Yeah. How he won against Hermes right now. Yeah. We, at some point, um, Morozo, who is, who is ranked number one, mm -hmm. he had a war with Dadikian. Mm -hmm. And we can compare uh, Prudnik and, and Dadikian. Yeah. It was a war. It was, it was a war, war and yeah. it was very close. In the, and uh, of course, it's different day, different styles, different yeah. arm wrestlers, but it gives us some understanding about we, the we strength have, level. We have on June, we have. Morozo versus Matyushenko, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and and I think uh, it like Alijan wants Matyushenko because he wants to take the titles. Mm -hmm. He wants to because he can easily go to any class, right? Yep. 105, 115, 115 plus. Yeah. So um, I'm, I believe he's on the road there, and uh, it, he keeps getting better and better and better and better. Yeah. And at at this time, he still competes on loft. Uh, so. It's it's incredible what he does mm -hmm. on table, the power, the control, and yeah. armistice ability. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So so uh, in, in in my eyes, uh, like Alijan right now, yeah, it's Matoshenko, it's Dedekian, it's Morozo, it's uh, Vitaly Lajetin, Alex Kubdecha. Like those are guys somewhere 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 like uh, you, you don't know above or under or who is, but that's what I would like to see for for Alijan next. Yeah, someone from 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 those guys. Maybe, maybe someone else I forget, I don't know. Why, why Levon is not Italian, active? Is, Italian, I said yeah, Italian, yeah. yeah. Why Levon is not active le left? His left is not bad at all. He and said he still has problems and they don't go away. Mm. He said, like, uh, I, I talk with him and he doesn't feel com confident with it. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Kamil, Kamil, Kamil looked good with his left arm and. Uh, yes, and, it, was uh, a, it was like a chest match at the start, but then when it kind of slowed down, Kamil's power is just crazy. Yeah. Right? Because I know Tobias is extre extremely strong. No question. Right? Uh, they both exchanged flash pins, and then there were slow pins from Kamil. Um, very, very. Once impressive. he gets in a position and yeah. gets that shoulder behind, he's super dangerous. Yeah. I, I think uh, the, the way to beat him is a hook, right? Yes. Yeah. The stylistically, press versus hook. We saw it versus Bitkili and Talbot, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but 
there's a lot of guys like he he's on a mission he's, he's a on mission. mission he's on a mission and he's getting better and looking yeah. looking stronger every time we so, see him like motivation is a very big thing like he's extremely mm -hmm. extremely motivated mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, i was talking with uh, tobias before fight and i, I said to him that uh, by taking that wrist and hand it will do nothing like uh, if yeah. you pull against someone with so crazy press like uh, like camille does yeah. and uh, you need to and he's mostly using his tricep press yes and to press the triceps if you are in this position and if you are able to rotate your opponent you will not be able to press with triceps in this position so he need to attack that rotator and to get on his biceps but to do that to go against that you need some uh, some crazy strength yourself and uh, that's what like uh, Matoshenko can do or, or Dadakian, maybe, 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 maybe Alijan, we don't know. The guys who, 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 who do that press themselves and who can get an opponent's yeah, rotator. Yeah. Even him and Alijan, that's a great match, right? Yeah. Alijan isn't a typical hook puller, mm -hmm. right? So he doesn't, he doesn't scoop, he, he kind of scoops under, but he scoops on his side, not on the other yeah. side. So I, I would like to see that. There's so many great matches yeah. to make uh, just from this card. Um, what else was uh, uh, Fear Isaac? So impressive. I, I thought that uh, would be a maybe something, but like uh, Nikisheva, straight away she knew she was out of it. Like mm. level, level behind. Yeah, we, we, we told before fight with uh, with Neil, with Malin, with uh, with many other, and, and all said that uh, Fear is favorite for this one. Uh, I, I was not so sure. Yeah. Um, I, I, you always uh, yeah. keep, keep content. Yeah. And uh, we were talking with Fia a lot, and uh, I helped her for the last few seasons with, with preparation, with training, and and, and uh, I analyzed the style of, uh, of what uh, Nikisheva is doing and, and how she is pulling with little bits of slow wrist and where Fia needs to attack and where she has to be strong and focused on on, on, on last uh, period of preparation. and. And all went good, all went good. But still, uh, I thought it could be because really, because of the height. Yeah, I, 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 I was worried. Hand, this so, was yeah, so I was strong. worried that it will be like ugly, ugly fight, and they both yeah. could could stay in that position yeah. with a little bit lo lost riser yeah. and and still active pronation. Yeah. And and then she is crazy, crazy good. Yeah. Then she is winning those long fights, but. Uh, Fia's hand was uh, dominant much. and she was able to control Absolutely. everything. Wrist, yeah. pronator and, and that arm strength is behind. Yeah. So all was good and uh, I, was, I was happy for uh, her performance yeah. and that uh, all, all preparation went good. And, and she was super strong. Those yeah. results she was doing in the gym and uh, lifts, all, all was good. She was in great shape and uh, absolutely deserved to, to win this fight. Um, and it's good to see more uh, women's arm wrestling, yeah. especially in, in so high level. Yeah. In so high level, we need more. Everyone might think like big, big difference on strength, but Nikisheva would be 99% of the female pullers, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so there's so many matches. I, I don't know if we have to, we can or have to talk about everything, but um, Sanders and Sago, right? We were mm -hmm. there, of course, uh, we wanted Sanders to win. I think I, right now I'm going back, right? Uh, of course, there's some, some things that we could have done differently, but maybe round two straight go for a press to press, right? But Sanders after round one, he turned to us and he said he felt something. And this is why he continued the top roll. But Sago, he, he stays like so, like I can't even get that close as he gets, mm -hmm. right? So he gets so close, that it's very hard to separate him. Yeah. Uh, if... Or, or did we some mistake and we could do something different? I don't know. First of all, I want to congratulate Sagos yeah. for a great fight. Great. And, and, and he, he did better than Sanders and he was stronger that day. Yeah. Uh, we were talking with Sanders. Could it be different if you from very beginning would go against, uh, against him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. The truth is Sanders' uh, shoulder is five months after, after injury. And uh, his internal rotator is not maybe 100%. And I still would believe that uh, in a long fight, in a multiple inside, inside fights, uh, Sago. Sago would beat him. Yeah. And uh, Sanders is not ready yet. And, and that's a difference. When someone, and Sanders is not clear inside arm wrestler, goes against someone who is pulling all the time 100% inside, and that's what only he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. That condition for that probably yeah. is better. And, and, and Sanders is still strong inside, but not 100 
In the first round or second, we were trying to protest about that position that he's too close and, and about the uh, no, shoulder and everything. Chin was touching. And Sanri sent me uh, uh, photos from round one, round three. We were talking about that with referees as well. In shoulder. all those rounds, shoulder was over center for Sago. Yeah. I, I don't know if it made a difference, but that, that's a foul. That's, that's a foul. foul. And uh, we were kind of talking with referees. They went to check. They said, all, all good. All good. In video, you can clearly see that position. Yeah. Uh, I'm not complaining, but uh, and yeah. I don't know how it at, would at change. The, at this point, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But uh, mm -hmm. rules are rules are strict, especially for yeah. pressers. Also in third round, when yeah. when Sanis already was over here, yeah. And when in the third round, uh, Sanris stopped, get back in that position, was here. He tried to get his shoulder behind. He did more or less, but the thing is, his arm was still here in center. Yeah. And and we said that he has this. Uh, internal shoulder rotator injury before the thing what he have here he needs this rotation to get that arm under, under but yeah. he was still outside here even if he was trying to get that shoulder behind and the thing he was missing was the strength of the internal rotator to get yeah. that position yeah. but Sago, anyway, pull and learn very very impressive yeah uh, like i said congratulations he yeah, did great and and also, Sago, Sago was surprised of how good Sandris, Sandris did, especially in a position when he stopped yeah. him. He said... Uh, Usually no one holds me that long. E even in his national yeah. <laughs> competitions, when he's pulling with best athletes there, when, he said, when I get in my position, no one is able to stop me. I just yeah. go like s s through everyone in that position. Pedagogically... I would say maybe it's not bad for Sanris. Uh, when, when he won against uh, Matt Mask, when he won against uh, Lachlan, when he won against... He, he was so self-sure, like, oh, okay, all is going good. No, no, me and him and, and all us, we have to analyze yeah. what to do different, yeah. what to improve, uh, and maybe it's good. Maybe it's good for future. We will see better, smarter and uh, stronger puller next time in Sanris' person. Talk, talking about, like, okay, this is the last one for this video. But uh, Mindaugas and Arthur, uh, after that first round, I was sure that Mindaugas has it and he kind of plays with his food and, you know, playing a little bit. We were, we were sitting by near and you said like, uh, Minda is next level, like after, after yeah, a fight after, with, after uh, with got, Daniel and yeah. he's like, yeah, that's, that's it. Because when it. he took like, it looked like, like Arthur was so out of it, Minda was so comfortable and then some elbow. And then I thought, okay, he kind of missed it, you know, got too comfortable. And he lost everything. Yeah, I think so. So you, so you think he did relax too much? I think round one he got too relaxed, and what he mm. gave he couldn't take back. Yep. Yeah. What yeah. he gave to his opponent he couldn't take back afterwards. Yeah. And and after he took that wrist second, he he stopped in in a second ready go or in yeah. second round it was already he stopped uh, Arthur in maybe not so good position for him. Yeah. And. And you could see that Arthur is in a position and he's not rushing to go for pin. He's controlling. He's controlling and waiting yeah. and, and looking uh, what will happen with Minde. Will he get tired? Because he's in his best position, in his strongest position, yeah. and, and he's pulling smart. Yeah. And Minde probably still thinks that he is in some control and he, because he's not bad in that he's position. Bad. He has still had some pronator yeah. and he was still but working. And, uh, at this point, it worked much better much for better Arthur. Arthur. And yeah, the Minde was the Arthur. first one who yeah. got tired. I think uh, Arthur also, like, sometimes he didn't prepare. Like, sometimes he was out of it. Sometimes because he had to work and, you know, to take care of his family and yeah. survive. Yeah. And yeah, now yeah. this was way different, right? And now he's the champ. So I think this will definitely change his life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it, it was it was very close uh, fight in my eyes. And, and in, in, in uh, some point, round three, even round four, it was very close for me that he could catch and get this li yeah. little bit. That's, I think that's it, how it felt, but yeah. it wasn't. In, in round four, he took a wrist and Arthur was already a little bit with wrist. And uh, it's just little difference. Same, yeah. same like with um, Daniel. And, yeah. and, and, and yeah. it can change totally around. The level there is crazy, and, right? And then and same, same class. And yeah. Maybe Giannis is now ready to take off Arthur Makaro. Uh, we'll see. Let's see. We'll see. Let's see. Let's make it happen. Let's, Let's get make Giannis it happen. motivated. I Let's am, make, I am motivated. Let's make Giannis great again. <laughs> <laughs> Who said I'm not? <laughs>
all other people all other people Prove around it. saying that but I, I don't i don't hear i don't yeah. see so it's well, every, everyone keeps it's telling good. you it's, you're it's, so great it's, it's good to live in your own uh, fantasies in your own yeah. box and feel like Prove okay it. get on the table and challenge the champion and do it mm. do it just yeah. do it. Just do it. Come on. Say now. Say now. Say agree. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so uh, you, you believe I would like uh, directly have to jump in and fight this champion? Yeah, why not? Everyone's <laughs> doing it anyway. Who else? Right. Right now we can't get anyone Is, else. Let's but, go. Let's go. Let's but go. that's how it should be, or, or you should start like uh, slowly climb up or. Anything? No, because if you lose the champion, you lost the champion. It's all yeah. fine. Ah. Right. Think about that. Okay. Yeah, but if not, you lose to someone on the you, way, you're... if you lose to some loser, all right. That's right. That's, terrible. That's right. You don't want to. You don't want to. You're, you're, you're like. You don't want to. No. No. He's mean. It's his loser. So yeah. if I lose to him, I'm double loser. <laughs> double loser. Yeah. No. 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 So so I, I yeah. have a good reason to not pull mean for next ten years ago. Yeah. Like <laughs> great event. Uh, buy the pay per view if you haven't. You can still rewatch it or wait till the. Videos are posted on YouTube, on on East versus West, and Engin Terzi's channel. Uh, great event, great matches. Probably mm. by far, but not not by far, but the best event of East versus West mm. for sure for me. Yeah, uh, that's how I felt. And um, pr probably uh, one more time, I have to say that uh, that uh, people, team, all, all all who is behind that event. Uh, like uh, Anna, Neil, Travis, you yourself, uh, Engin, Sigita. Probably I don't know Don or many others. I hope forget yeah. to core sport team. It's it's so much uh, work involved and, and uh, the whole week is uh, absolutely absolutely. Yeah. It's just, uh, just to bring it and it's not only Engin. It's of course Engin himself, but all the team as well. Yeah. They're doing uh, big 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 hard work and and uh, and that's that's crazy how much uh, energy and and time you have to involve to. Yeah. And it's crazy that people are crazy about Arnest. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's right. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, East vs. West 12, some of the matches. If you want us to talk about something else, leave us a comment uh, if we ever mm -hmm. watch this long. Stay strong. Stay strong and love arm wrestling. <laughs>